Hi guys, thank you and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Friday. So starting from today, we're going to start uploading on Friday. That way I have a little bit more time on the weekday to create video for you and spend the weekend with Andre. Okay, so this week we're going to go in and do a huge unboxing of the one and the only uh, right in here. Makeup by, Makeup by Mario PR box. So we're going to go in and unbox the entire collections of every single item that he released recently with makeup by Mario and with that say depends how far you made it to the video this week we're gonna, we're gonna do a giveaway so what I'm gi giving away is gonna be the makeup by Mario matte eyeshadow palette also the makeup by Mario metallic eyeshadow palette together and with that I'm also gonna throw in my skincare products few of my favorite skincare product to this giveaway also so you just watch the whole video and watch for the secret code word mm. So with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. Ring the bell button right here for next next week notification I post on Friday now. Yeah, so don't forget to follow me also on all my social media at bella.c.no. And with that said, let's go in and uh, unbox this giant PR box right in here. Uh. <laughs> in water so before we start unboxing I actually put on like a um, tanning moisturizer tanning lotion gradual tan from Bally body right here so I've been trying out this brand because we're actually gonna go to Cabo in like a week and a half or something uh, so I, I'm like trying to get my body to like tan before we go to Cabo so I'm like my tan is gradually get darker and darker as I start like filming. So if I can get like really dark towards the end of the video, that's probably why. Anyway, so this week we're gonna go in and actually unboxing the makeup by Mario right in here, the PR box. So first off, I just wanna say that um, even though this is a PR box, I did go ahead and purchase this by myself when it's first launched, actually the day before it's launched, I went to the website and there's is an option for you to kind of like purchase a PR box. So a lot of brand is doing that now. So instead of them sending out PR box to other influencer, there is an option for you to like purchase the full complete collections. The actual PR box that also the influencer get is a little bit more pricier. When I first saw the Makeup My Mario PR box, I really like to have this box to put onto like my makeup shrine, makeup collections because this is like amazing collections. I'm really proud of makeup by Mario. I love his journey to creating this, to create his own brand and his own collections. That's why I would love to like um, support him and purchase this myself. And actually I just like the box. So the whole reason why I bought this was actually like, I think the box is like gorgeous. One thing about this box when it's arrived, and, and the reason why I haven't done this one when it's first launched because I actually pay extra shipment for it to like ship to me early so I can do this uh, unboxing when it's launched. But then there was a few problem when they shipped it and I did uh, actually contact them and they did fix the problems. The customer service was actually super nice. They got everything fixed by like the next day and they sent out a new component. So the first thing I want to tell you how much this one costs is the whole PR box and it costs you $545. That is hella expensive. I know, but I just wanted to support Makeup by Mario because I really believe that it is his brand. It's gonna be really great because he's been in the business for like a very long time. I think majority of influencers, they got like the box hand delivered to them. So everything come clean and not damaged. I got this ship, ship in the mail because I purchased them and actually came the, it's with this box right here, it's actually kind of came um, damage um, and they did went ahead and send me like another one Ugh, right in here so this they did send me a different replacement box right in here because this box on the corner got damaged and the reason why is because the box the whole makeup box is in here and it doesn't have any like cushion to protect it 
So it's just come into this box and it just came out straight from this cardboard box as like a shipment. So when the cardboard box came, it's actually kind of damaged throughout the corner because when they do shipment, they kind of like throw these everywhere and the component doesn't come with like any bubble wrap or any cushion. I was expect them to do a little bit more better with shipping, especially for like a really expensive Pira box. Like this box costs like six hundred dollars, and I was expect them to be a little bit more better than shipping it in this like little box i would expect them to put the component into this box and this box may be in your another box with um those like foamy thingy or cushion to kind of like protect it but they didn't so the first box did came in like dent around the corner so this is the new box right here Ugh. And this is the old box that came kind of like broken. I'm going to show you which part is broken. So I'm actually just going to save this because it's, um, it, it didn't get dent or the corner didn't get broken. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So, so we're just going to use this one for today. So this actually kind of like opened out like this. They have like a two different handle right in here. Uh, so here's the front of the box with a handle. It's actually very sturdy and here is the back. It's just white and clean So this box kind of open up kind of like um One of those makeup box to how we create it. The handle is actually kind of like um, Aluminum metal and this component right in here is actually kind of like hard aluminum Slightly feel like plastic and the box opening up like these so this one at first I thought it's gonna be more like it's have like hinges on the side. You know how like makeup um, boxes it's have kind of like you kind of like opening them up. This doesn't do that. It's actually just like a tray right in here, so it doesn't like open up like this. So this just came out like this right in here, and this also came out. So that's gonna be the first layer. The second layer gonna be like, oh, ooh, almost got hit in the face. So the second layer is going to be all the component right in here. So all of this up here is going to be his, um, I believe this is the eye primer. And we're going to talk about that one. So if you can see on the hinges right over here, so it's got, she kind of like unhinges. It's kind of like broken right in here and all the corner of the box got dense. So is that kind of like happen in every single corner. You can see that it's kind of like dense right up here, right over here. Oh, here you got dense and kind of like cracked and open. So it's kind of like dense every single corner because of the way the box would ship. So I hope that they kind of like uh, put a little bit more bubble wrap packing into the future shipment because it's, ex it's a ex really expensive component for you to ship it without any protection. And actually two of the pallet in here was kind of like um, broken also because of the vibration. They did come in and replace all the one that is broken right in here. So they did send me like a new box. And these actually like the actual packaging that you get in store. So one thing that I saw with this box alone is first I thought this box I can practically reuse it to put all my makeup in here. But actually you can't. Um, so first off, the whole box I thought it was made out made out of kind of like a harder uh, wood or something a little bit more harder um, plastic to be like used over time as like a makeup box. But actually, this is actually just a uh, hard cardboard. So that was what I was kind of like disappointed when I like saw it and kind of like feel it. I thought it was gonna be like hard plastic, but these are actually just like hard cardboard. The second thing is I thought all of these tray, this cushion right in here, you can just like pop them off and um, use the whole thing as like your makeup box, I guess. But actually these plastic thing right in this um, foam thing for other component actually kind of glue into the box. You, so you can't really like pull it out and use it as a makeup box except for Makeup by Mario products right in here. So that was kind of like one of the the huge disappointment with the 
when I saw the box because the whole reason I bought the box was first to support Makeup by Mario but second I just wanted to like maybe I could just pop out the foam part and then reuse the whole box to put like all my other makeup stuff in but you can't because it's kind of like glue into the component boxes so I just want to tell you I'm going to make a separate video to go in to create a makeup look creating using all this palette because this is such a large collection I don't want to use um, this video as an unboxing and then create a makeup look that will be like a little bit too long so I'm going to split this video into two so today we're just going to go ahead and go through all the products right in here, right in here. swatch them and I actually use one or two of the products right in here so I'm going to tell you how I feel about them and then in the future video I'm going to go in and actually use the, all the products right in here to create a makeup look so look out for that video when you go to the store or you order each individual individual item separately it's going to come in with like a cardboard like this so here is the front the um, packaging for makeup by mario and here is the back packaging for makeup by mario with the eyeshadow palette so with the whole component with the pr box it's just going to come in with like this right in here without the um copper box protection right outside so first off we're just going to go in with the master matte eyeshadow palette so this one going to be retail for 48 dollars and all the eyeshadow palette going to be coming white and clean right in here so if you can see right in here makeup by mario is actually more like an emboss a raised emboss so when you feel it you can feel it a little bit more raised which is really nice and here is the back with all the color and all the detail of the what color is going to come into that palette and when you open the makeup by mario so here is actually all the uh, matte color and if you can see i actually already used this palette like once before because i want to try out the formulation so i'm going to tell you how i like and what i didn't like about this palette right in here the matte palette actually he created based on skin tone so if you can see from the left to right right in here it's gonna be like the lighter skin tone is kind of like gradually move into like a darker skin tone so i love his concept of creating eyeshadow palette that is based on skin tone because um i don't know it's kind of cool that you can like just pick out skin tone i always want to make like a palette that is out actually like based on like skin tone only because because each person's skin tone is so unique and it's when you put that into like a palette it's kind of like very innovative and very inspiring at the same time so first off i just want to go in and kind of like swatch out the colors so you're going to see what the color look like in the actual skin tone and i know swatches doesn't really compare with when you try out with brushes but at least you can see what the color range is an actual skin tone okay guys so here is the swatches for the first row and all the color right in here they go by number so that's going to be on the right going to be matte one then matte two matte three and matte four so the first um impression with this one is they are really high pigmented even though it's going to be really light color so we just watch this the first light shade light row right in here because it's more like a light medium a little bit more darker right over here so with the first even with a lighter row you can actually see in my skin right in here really well because sometimes the lighter color usually don't show up um that gray or it's going to be a little bit more blotchy when you swatch them but this one for matte shade it's actually kind of like feels slightly creamy so it's not dry at all it's actually really nice it's that it's not so velvety but actually kind of like in the middle kind of like dry and velvet so here are the swatches for the second uh, row of medium to dark shade so it's going to be matte 5 matte 6 matte 7 and matte eight. I, ha I think I haven't like have a palette that is kind of like perfectly swatched in every single color so so far with this two row they both swatch so great and I feel like the darker sh the darker you go with the shade the more better with the pigment is even though with the lighter color it's swatched flawlessly 
like I'm really impressed and really amazed. So here are the final row of the matte master matte. It's going to be matte 9, matte 10, matte 11, and matte 12. Okay, so that's going to be all 12 color swatches for the master matte eyeshadow palette. So first thought, the formulation in here is amazing. I actually tried this on before, like one or twice before to put on like my eyeshadow to go out and formulation actually blend really, really, really well. And I was super impressed. And the color in here actually came out the way it's supposed to be because sometimes when you buy like a matte or a neutral shade eyeshadow palette, you see the color right in here in the palette. And when you're actually kind of like trying to apply that into your eye, it's kind of come out slightly more different or slightly more like lighter shade than its look in the palette. But this palette right in here, the formulation that he put and the pick amount, the right amount of pigment, it's actually came out exactly like the color that you can see in the palette right in here. So I'm really impressed with that one. Uh, I do, I guess it's more like a con for this eyeshadow palette is. So this is going to be $48. Um, I just feel like the pan size is a little bit small for $48. I wish it's a little bit more bigger. And the reason why is when you put on like a brush, it actually, um, the brush kind of like be as big as the pan size right in here. So sometimes it's a little bit more harder for you to just to get that one color right in here. So you're just going to concentrate to get that color on the center. You're going to hit pan just right on the center and it's going to be hard for you to like get on the edge of all the color pigment without touching the neighbor color but overall this um, palette is really worth to purchase for $48 on um, Makeup by Mario or on Sephora.com the one thing that I can tell you to save money is you can go actually go to Makeup by Mario um, when you sign up to his website you actually get like a code for a 15% off for your first purchase uh, to become this one in the membership on Makeup by Mario so that way if you go on straight on to buy at Makeup by Mario, you're going to get a little bit more, slight more discount with your 15% off rather than buying at Sephora. You can actually buy at Sephora too, but you don't get that discount with the 15% off. So just, just like a thing that I want to tell you if you want to save a little bit more money. So next up, I'm going to go in and take a look at the next palette. They're going to be the Master Metallic Eyeshadow Palette right in here. So this package is actually one of the package that was, um, broken uh, during the first shipment so right in here so when you open the package here is all the color right in here so if you can see that color right in over here right in there it's actually kind of like pop out so I was trying to like kind of like softly press it back in place so it don't fall apart this color right down here also so I'm just gonna press it right down so it kind of like pop back into place so this was actually one of the palette that it was broken so I did message them and say oh there was like a broken palette right in here so I did it actually send me a new one uh, to make up the matte one and then this one right in here because the matte one actually some of the color is kind of like shattered like this but actually kind of like pressed it back in so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one to swatch and use and with the other two I actually kind of want to do a giveaway during this um, unboxing. So if you're watching this far, you're gonna know that we're gonna do. I'm gonna actually gonna do a giveaway, and I'm gonna tell you how to to can enter with a giveaway. I'm gonna, actually gonna give out the two matte eyeshadow palette and the master metallic eyeshadow palette. So these two right here are gonna be in the giveaway. So once you enter the giveaway, you're gonna get both of this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to tell you the secret code later, so just depends how far you watch, you're going to get a secret code. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this one really quick. So with the Master Metallic Eyeshadow Palette, it's going to be the same as the matte palette. It's going to be $48 and again, it's going to come in like 12 different colors. So with the matte eyeshadow palette, he based all the matte color out of skin tone. With the Master Metallic Eyeshadow, he got his inspiration and base it out of all the color in the human body. So this one you can actually use dry or wet. So I actually want to try to use some of the color wet to see what it's going to look like. But first I'm going to go in and swatch all the color again for you so you can see what the color look like swatches in real skin. 
Here is all these watches from the Master Metallic. So the first one gonna be Metallic 1, Metallic 2, Metallic 3, and then Metallic number 4. Honestly, I like some of the color in here. Me personally, I don't usually go to for more like really vibrant color. I'm majority using more like neutral. But some of the color in here, I feel that I would love. Um, the second color right in here actually kind of really, really interesting. The third color, it didn't show up as much shimmer. You can still see a slight metallic to it. It's not exactly matte, but it doesn't show up as um, bright or shimmery as the other sh lighter shade. Okay, so here is the swatch on the second row with metallic 5, metallic 6, metallic 7, and last one is metallic number 8. So after swatching the second row, the one color that kind of really impressed me actually is the green right in here, the metallic number 6. I don't think I've ever seen like a military green in any other palette that's looked like this. Like I don't usually like color, but that green is very amazing. Like so far, that's kind of like one of my new favorite color, even though it's like colorful and it's green. I don't know why I kind of like, like it. Because look at that green right in there, it's so nice. It's like the perfect green, it's not like neon green. It's not like such dark green, it's have like a slight sheen to it, which is kind of nice, which I'm kind of like obsessed of. I thought I want to be more like into like the neutral shade, but actually that sheen of the green right in there is really nice. Okay, so here are the swatches from the last row. They're going to be metallic number 9. Metallic number 10, Metallic 11, and Metallic number 12. So, so far with all this metallic color after, after swatching them, every single one of them swatched really really nice. So none of them kind of like skip or anything. Everything formulation is really perfect. This um, palette you can actually swatch them with your hand or you can actually use them with a wet brush. So I just want to go ahead and go in and use a wet brush in like one of the, or two of the colors you see how that gonna be react when you use more with a wet brush so now i'm actually gonna go in and spray this brush right in here with a little bit setting spray right in here just to make it a little bit more wet to go in with the metallic shade to see how it's gonna work with uh, a wet brush so that's gonna be kind of like look like how when you use more like a wet brush i thought it's gonna be have a little bit more pigment with the wet brush or is it my brush is not wet enough so i'm just gonna try out a little bit more wetter brush just gonna go ahead and dip that right in there so with the wet brush it's definitely created um make the eyeshadow definitely a little bit more creamier um you can actually it's harder for you to swatch with like a brush because it's really concentrating in, in wherever you want to put it so it's not going to be as great as a swatch when you use your finger to swatch a dry eyeshadow. But with the wet brush, it actually create more like a cream, cream light -like eyeshadow, which is kind of nice. Uh, I kind of like both techniques to use with the wet brush or use your finger. With the wet brush, it's going to give you, a, I feel like it gives you a little bit more a flatter coverage or a little bit more creamy light uh, texture to the eyeshadow. With a drier brush, it could give you a little bit more, I feel it's a little bit more texture because um, you, when you press in there, the metallic is still going to be a little bit more raised. When you wet the brush and using with this eyeshadow, it's going to kind of like melt everything off and create more like a creamy eyeshadow. So it's kind of like two different texture and kind of like slightly change the formulation a little bit with the water, using water in the brush when you use it. So just depend how you like to use your eyeshadow either with your finger or with the wet brush both of them do actually work usually i don't like to use with the wet brush because i just feel when you dip into the um, palette it's get a little bit more messy would i personally get this eyeshadow palette again me personally i would say no because i'm more like into more like neutral eyeshadow palette i rarely use like shimmer or like um Drew tone shade even though this eyeshadow palette is really 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 great and if you personally based on your references if you more into more like really bright bold color i would recommend getting this palette right in here because the formulation in here is really 
good you can use both wet or dry and they both actually work it's really worth your money for $48 again I just think that the pen size is a little bit more smaller uh, with the matte and the master metallic I wish them a little bit more bigger overall the formulation here is still really great I can't wait to try actually especially the green one on the next video when I create and go in and actually try all the formulation into a makeup look okay let's go into with the third eyeshadow palette that came out is it eyeshadow palette though the third palette that came in with the makeup by Mario collection so this one is I think it's the most exciting palette in the collection that everybody was looking towards to because it's something slightly more different and that's gonna be the master metal so last one we have master metallic eyeshadow this one is master metal so when you open that master metal palette it's gonna be like this right in here so I only have five different colors but what make these one special is gonna be a little bit more higher um, this more majority use more like an artist eyeshadow palette so if you're more like into really creative makeup in general this would be the eyeshadow palette for you so with this palette on the website he said that master metal take eyeshadow to the next level with intense high coverage and molten metal payoff packed with super fine iridescent pearl it formula with a signature gel powder technology that often silky weightless color as a professional makeup artist but this product always inspired me to play with fun play and to have fun and the way to apply it is to apply straight to the lid which is your hand or your finger or enhance the effect with the master metal manipulator so one thing about that one is so this palette gonna be the same thing as the other palette gonna be $48 but just remember that the master manipulator the actual liquid that activate all this metal and the spatula doesn't come with the eyeshadow palette itself so the palette gonna be $48 and then the manipulator you have to purchase them separately for $14 which I was like mm, why can't they just be together I was hoping for this to be a little bit more if you want to charge separately a little bit more I would say this gonna be maybe charge it for like $50 and then it's actually come with the thing that kind of like activate it because there's no point of buying an act the palette without the actual thing that kind of like activate it and this only come with like five different color for $48 I wish it actually came like together like this instead of having to buying the manipulators separately but so far this one actually can use with use the palette alone or use the activator to create more like a liquid shadow a little bit more higher intense so now i'm just gonna go ahead and go in and swatch all this color with just my hand and just my finger just in case if you happen to purchase this eyeshadow palette and just having your hand as like a tool or a brushes without the master manipulator so here are the master metal swatches with just my finger uh just the first color gonna be silver and then gold Ooh, damn gina copper bronze and the last one gonna be rose gold okay so first impression after swatching this palette which is my finger is holy sh I, wow i'm like speechless right now so if i thought it's gonna be not gonna be like i don't know it's like amazing so this is what you're gonna come out with with just your finger and so imagine what you're gonna look like when you put on with the master manipulator and that could be a little bit more intense and this is also really intense already and the pigment is amazing look at that silver right in there like holy sh and the gold one is really amazing I'm really impressed and really like surprised with the pink one you never seen like a pink one like that before so all the color in here actually really great and amazing i'm not really into like the copper one like this one might be really great too for your eyelid if you're more like neutral i would feel like the copper is also great but it's not going to be my favorite i think the favorite going to be more like my silver one because that's going to be popped the most and the pink one actually it's one of my favorite one because that's going to be one of the most unique color you see in a palette but holy that is a lot of 
pigment. Excuse my French, but I'm like really impressed with this palette right here right now. And again, I'm just disappointed it's going to be five color for $48, but I feel like it's going to be it's kind of worth it, but then it's kind of not because it's only five color is $48. So if you kind of like purchase the whole set with the master manipulator right here, $48. $14 so the whole set to if you want the whole set it's gonna cost you like $62 to create these metal right here so I feel like it's still a little bit more pricey for this two to be separate to purchase them separate I just wish they maybe charge this one like $50 and everything come together that would be a little bit more reasonable but for the formulation wise I'm really impressed like that is some amazing sh Okay, so now that you made it this far, now I'm just gonna go in and give you the secret code name for the giveaway. So what I'm giving away is the Makeup by Mario Matte Palette, also the Makeup by Mario Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. And with that, I'm also gonna throw in some of my favorite skincare products to make it really worth it. And the code name is Here we go. Princess Peach. So all you have to do is write Princess Peach code name right down below. Also leave me a comment of what inspire you to do makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna leave all the detail right down in the comments and make sure you read all of that. So hopefully you win on this, um, my first giveaway. So the winner is gonna be announced on the next video and I go in and do the detail of the Makeup by Mario makeup look. So let's go back to do the review and make sure you watch all of it. Okay, let's go back and do all the review. All right. So with the master manipulator, the way that you use them, it use this spatula right here. So separately beside the palette, so you're just gonna go ahead and kind of like scrape off like a little bit of the pigment right into this tray right down here. So you can see all the pigment fall down here. And I forgot to tell you that this tray actually kind of like removable. Like trying to be really careful so don't pop that out. So this tray actually kind of like removable. So you can like uh, clean the tray right in here and just make sure you pop it back in. Ugh. So in here I just have like all the pigment right down there. And the way you do it, you're just gonna be using the master manipulator right in here. If I can open, hold on. And you're just gonna like do like one drop, maybe two. I would start with one drop first. Using the spatula again and kind of like mix the formulation together and that's going to create more like a liquid formulation if you can see right in here so it's become like kind of like this silver texture so with that one you can actually use more like an angle brush i'm just going to go ahead and use a flat brush so you can see a little bit more better i'm just going to go ahead and dip that right in there you're going to fill it up with the whole brush looking like this it's kind of like molten silver then when you swatch that it's going to look like Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So this is one gonna be swatched like after you use the master manipulator to kind of like activate the formulation to be kind of, kind of a little bit more creamy, kind of like the master metallic. But this one gonna be a little bit more intense. And first look at this one when you use the master manip manipulator, the silver actually showed up a little bit more like a bluer tint shade tinted shade beside like the silver it's actually give you a little bit more like a bluish tint to it it's actually really nice and again it's kind of like drying out really quick so just if you apply this to your eye just do one eye at a time because the master manipulator might have a little bit more like alcohol in it to kind of like dry out the formulations so make sure you kind of like do one eye at a time and again with this one it's since it's removable, um, you can actually kind of like easily wiping off the formulations. And then it's going to be super clean. So I love that. I want to try like the pink one to see what it's going to look like when you use the master manipulator uh, on the pink one. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and scrape a little bit of the pink one to the tray right down here. going to be right down there with all the little pink. 
then I'm actually going to start with one drop. You can actually add two drops, but I just don't want to add too much and then it's just become too liquidy. So I'm just going to do one drop and then mix all that in. And then with another clean brush right in there, I'm just going to go ahead and load up the brush. Actually, I'm going to go in with another drop because I have a little bit more on the pink one. You can see this what the pink going to look like after the master metallic master manipulator onto it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and load up my brush. See that right in here. Then when you swatch with that, Ooh. that is super pretty. I'm not sure you can see. I'm going to go a little bit more closer. That is so nice. Kind of like obsessed with this one now. Even though I don't feel like it's going to be worth $48. And had to buy the other one separately. I wonder what happened if I mix all the color together. What color would that be? So now what? that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape all the color and combine them together to see what color is going to come out. So here is all the color right in there. So now I just want to see what it's still going to look like when I mix all of this together. Okay. So here is all the color that kind of like mixed together. So now I'm just going to go in with the brush and load up my brush right in there. So could this going to be all the, what the color look like when you kind of like low all the color together. And I'm going to swatch this right over here. So that is what the color look like if you kind of like match all the color together. It's kind of like a copper, pinkish copper, golden pinkish copper, I guess. Actually, it's kind of more like closer to this shade when you kind of like mix all the color together. Which is kind of interesting. So now you know what it's going to look like when you kind of like mix all this color together. Okay, now that we have a lot of fun using the makeup by Mario Master Metal Palette, let's get serious and talk about it. So with this one, again, it's going to be $48 and you're going to have to be purchasing the Master Manipulator separately for $14. That's going to be $62 set right in here for you to use. Overall, I don't feel it's going to be worth the money to spend $62 for the palette, even though it's really amazing. Like, I'm really, 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 really impressed with this one. Uh, even though it's just by the palette alone and use with your finger, the payoff of this palette is amazing. If you are like really into something artistic, really into makeup, really into color and something new with makeup to try, I would recommend you uh, purchasing this one because the formulation in here is I don't think I actually so I'm about to say like I never seen this one before but actually I already have so uh, I seen this in like Pat McGrath before when she first released her skin fetish I actually kind of like have some of it right here with the skin fetish so she does have like these um, kind of like pigment right in here. And again, you can actually use a manipulator. Actually, she's just using the Miron uh, manipulator to activate this one. So this is actually the original package of the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish color. I have like a different shade and color and she came out with more like a cream one right in here. And I actually still have like the Skin Fetish uh, right in here, the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish 03 in gold. This is actually the first uh, edition limited release. So when she first released this is when I worked at Sephora in Hollywood and we actually like the first store in the world or ever to carry the skin fetish from Pat McGrath. So I get to play with this one when I first launched. But compared with the Pat McGrath, I do actually like the makeup by Mario much, much better based on like the packaging alone. The Pat McGrath uh, each individual one is actually coming like a brush, but then it's going to be a little bit more expensive. It's actually going to be around $60, $50, $60, I believe. I forgot how much it was like three or four years ago when she first launched it. It's going to be similar price. So it's kind of like the same thing as Pat McGrath, but I love these um, color combinations. Uh, and the packaging that come into the Why the Makeup Mario is a little bit more thought about. Rather than the Pat McGrath one, it feels a little bit more um, cheap, uh, feel like tester to me. But this one actually feel durable, a little bit more luxury, a little bit more expensive because it's actually kind of like expensive to me. But overall, I do love all of this pigment. Would I buy this pigment again? Pro 
I don't know, probably not because I don't feel like I'm gonna use this a lot except I'm gonna maybe using this for like when I do something a little bit more creative like a metallic wing liner. For the average person, I, uh, I think maybe not but if you like a really into makeup, really into creative and trying something new, I would recommend using purchasing this one and try them out and have this into your like makeup kit. For regular people like me, or maybe you, um, you may be using this like once, maybe twice. Using this palette and it's gonna be in like the back drawers in your makeup somewhere, so it maybe it's not gonna be worth it to pay forty eight dollar for this. Um, and then just using one or twice, and then you forgot about it and you never use it again. It's not something that you kind of like use it every single day for forty eight dollar and combine this one gonna be a sixty two dollar, and then you're just gonna throw it to the back of your makeup drawers towards the end of the day. So just think about it if you really like that um, makeup by Mario uh, Master Metal. It's really great formula and everything is great in here but just think about how often will you use it? Would you need another palette? Or you're just gonna go with like the trend and using it like once maybe twice and then just throw it to the back of the makeup drawers which happens to a lot of different makeup with the new launch are coming out every single three seconds. So, yeah. Ooh, so that's gonna be like half of the collections. Now we're just gonna go in and do the other half. And if you notice, my tan is kind of like getting darker and darker as the video go by. Like if you could see right here, you can tell like the difference because I keep washing my hand. And you can tell like the difference between my original color and here is how much I tan. So yeah. I feel it's gonna get darker before like go shower and kind of like, wash it off or something. Okay, so now with all the eyeshadow palette done, now we're just gonna go in and do the other half of the Pira box right in here, the other half of the collections. So the first thing we're gonna go in is gonna be the Master Eye Prep and Set. So this one is actually coming in three different colors, light, medium, and dark. And this is gonna cost you $28. So here is what the all three different colors look like. So it's gonna come in three different shades in light, medium, and then dark color. So you can pick between what kind of your skin tone is. So I'm more towards like a medium color. So I'm gonna go in and swatch that one for you. So this is gonna be the Master Eye Prep Set in light. Here is gonna be the color for the shade medium. And last, here is gonna be all the shade for the color in dark. So for my skin tone, I'm definitely going to be more like into like a medium. So again, it's going to come in two different creamy shades. That's going to be a creamy shade right up here. Uh, I'm going to try to swatch this so you can see it. So that's going to be a light in medium set. And that's going to be the darker shade of the medium. So that's going to be the, like the closest match to my skin tone. But he said that to use your eye primer, use something slightly more lighter. So I'm probably going to end up mixing the two colors together. And right down here, you can actually have like a powder. Uh, you can use that to set your eye primer. So usually when you use more like a cream for to as an eye primer, you want to use like a neutral color afterwards to kind of like set it down kind of like your foundation because you don't want to put on like the brush, the pigment of the eyeshadow into something that's wet and the pigment is going to end up kind of like thick right there wherever it's kind of like damp. So you want to kind of like put on your primer and then kind of like go over with kind of like a neutral shade. So that's what going to be this color does. The formulation feel really nice and soft. It's actually really high pigment. So I'm not sure if you can use this as like a concealer. I think you can. I feel it's a little bit more creamier, a little bit more thicker than a concealer. So I think that's what he meant when you can go in throughout the day and use this as a touch up because it's kind of like the same formulation as like a creamy concealer so you may maybe can actually do that i'm not sure how the formulation does when it's kind of dry down because i'm just afraid it could be a little bit too dry when it's dry down as a concealer because me personally i have a little bit more drier skin so i tend to go something a little bit more hydrated so i'm not sure how this gonna like dry down actually it's dried down to more like a velvet matte finish it's more like a comfort matte finish when it's dried down right in here so with this one it actually really remind me of the laura mercier concealer palette 
Um, Laura Mercier actually have like two different colors, you can you like blend it? But the formulation for Laura Mercier is slightly more drier as the concealer, but this one is a little bit more hydrated. But he marketing this one as like a, an eyelid primer. So maybe you can use it as concealer. I'm gonna definitely try using as the concealer in a future video. But so far, the formulation feel super smooth and really great. I do believe in using like an eye primer for your eyelid. I feel like the pigment gonna pick up a little bit more better when you use more like an eye primer. When you use more like poppy eyeshadow, it's gonna show up a little bit more because sometimes when you just go straight with your eyelid, the color kind of like go into your pores and kind of like fade away over time with this one it kind of like filling up the pores in your eyelid if you, i know that sound kind of like bad but then it's going to give you a little bit more higher pigment when you use more than an eye primer before you use your colorful eyeshadow it's going to pop a little bit more and going to stay longer throughout the day and if you happen to have a little bit more oily eyelid oilier eyelid i would recommend using like a primer uh, to put on top first that can help kind of like magnifying it a little bit so when you're blending it and throughout the day your oil doesn't come out as much and kind of like ruin your makeup or smear your makeup so that kind of like the whole purpose of eyeshadow primer again i just feel like it's a little bit too pricey for like an eye primer maybe if it's like i'm not sure how much it's gonna be made may but 28 dollars for an eye primer is a little bit more pricey majority of eye primer are going to be ranged around 12 15 dollars maybe 20 dollars but 28 dollars for an eye primer is a little bit too pricey for me that's practically the eyeshadow palette right in there but yeah but i love how he have like three different color because not every single person have like the same eyelid color and with this one you can actually mix it to match your perfect shade of your eyelid and it's gonna be like seamless and you say you can actually use it for like your cut crease and then you can use it to shape out your brows and maybe you could use it as like a concealer when you do traveling also so you're definitely gonna try out all those techniques on the future video so now we're gonna go into the highlighter section so that's gonna be the master crystal reflector so here is all uh, the color right in here i'm trying not to lean it so much because we got a little bit accident this one right in here actually kind of like broken so kind of i forgot it's broken so i open it and everything kind of like fought out into the whole box so as you can see like a little fallout so that's me we have a little bit of accident right in here so here is all the color that come into the master reflector and the last one is clear because it's actually the master secret glow and let's go in and talk about all this shade so with all the master crystal reflector it's gonna come in like a smaller packaging right here compared to the eyeshadow the eye primer right in here gonna be slightly more bigger and this one the actually primer uh, master reflector gonna be slightly more like the baby version of the other one so when you open this one so this one is the master reflector in quads so it does come in three different color it's gonna be hard for you to see because it's gonna be kind of like a little bit more like transparent glitter shimmer and this one right in here could it be the master reflect reflector in citrine it could be a little bit more golden tone so with this one I actually need to be careful with this one because this is the one that come in a little bit more broken in the palette so this one is the master crystal reflector in bronze it's have a little bit more like a rose gold pink to it and beside those three they're actually another kind of like clear gel one so this one is not a highlighter but this one is more like a face gloss and or an eye gloss so this one is the master secret glow you're like what the heck there's nothing in there it's actually kind of like a clear coat and you can feel it kind of like gel like right in there so with all the master reflector this is going to be 24 dollar and except for the master secret glow the clear gel one that's going to be only 22 dollar right in here so let's go ahead and swatch all the master reflector first inspired by the love of crystal spotlight crystal reflector illuminate the skin with a lightweight wet and oil light finish the, su the supremely blendable bouncy powder highlight for eyes and cheek with a unique effect of look like an aquatic radiant light subtle and sheer with gorgeous luminosity I use this as a topper to create a spotlight effect across the feature of the face when it's hit your by light prismatic color emerge 
illuminated the illuminating the skin with transparent sparkling shine this shimmer actually a little bit more like a sheer um a sheer more like in a sheer form formulations um so you gonna be hard for you to like see under this light i'm gonna try my best to kind of like show it because it's super sheer so far over with the look of this one i'm gonna be my favorite one gonna be the clear one right in here the lightest one it's gonna be the quad so like you said that's gonna be more like a wet with this one you can use on top of your eyeshadow to create that like wet look so i can like really be really curious to try it so i've been waiting all day to try this one on my eyes so I'm going to use the quartz one. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelid to create more like a wet look. Definitely does give you more like a wet effect. Can you see it? It's really like sheen. It's really sheer. Do I look wet? I'm all wet. Can I come in? I'm going to try this one on the other eye. So with this one, with the first try, you definitely need to build up a little bit build them up by like layer for them to show a little bit more uh, since this is a little bit more sheer it's gonna be hard for you to see on camera but in person it does look like I have a little bit more like wetter mermaid like look they have a little bit more like shimmer to my eyelid it does have slightly more like glitter shimmerish but it's not gonna be like big chunky glitter it's really fine glitter it's actually kind of pretty so it's really great for you to put this on top of your um, eyeshadow makeup look. I'm actually gonna go in and try the citrine one. So this one is gonna be a little bit more like golden tone. I just wanna see what happens when you kind of like mix the two together. So with the citrine, it's kind of like creating a little bit more iridescent. It's gonna be matching my eyelid color a little bit more better. This one actually can use this to wear it alone on your no makeup makeup day. I'm definitely gonna use this when we go to like Cabo to create that like no makeup makeup look because we're gonna like play by the pool the whole time so I wanna look wet all the time like from head to toe I just wanna look wet okay not from head to toe I don't wanna look like a drowned rat but I just wanna look, I wanna look like an iridescent mermaid laying by, laying by the ocean or something like that so I'm definitely gonna go in and use this one when we head to Cabo it definitely look a little bit more better in person than rather in camera because with this light, it can be really hard for you to see more like a sheen of it. But so far, it's really good. Actually, I'm going to go in and try this one out. So we're just going to put all the color in here today. So this one has a little bit more like a copper rose gold to it. I actually like that color also. Actually, I might change my mind what my favorite color is. So I might like the color bronze it a little bit more better. Now that I'm kind of like a little bit more like a bronzer tone that's gonna be matching my skin a little bit more better so i feel like that's gonna be kind of like create that kind of like seamless water light um feel without showing the color so i kind of like to bronze it when you kind of a little bit more golden and bronze if you have a little bit more you want something a little bit more brighter on your center of your lid i would go with something more like a quartz but so far this is really it's really nice. So again, this is gonna be cost you $24. And beside the Master Crystal Reflector, they're actually gonna be the Master Secret Glow right in here. So this one you can see is kind of like clear, but it's actually not clear. It's have a little bit more like a kind of like a gel-ish light. So this is practically just like an eye gloss. And again, it's gonna be $22. I do love a good eye gloss. The thing with the eye gloss is when you put on top, it sometimes it does kind of like break up your eyeshadow makeup. It's gonna look good for like a photo for just like an instant minute, but after kind of like 15, 20 minutes, it might look like you just, your makeup might fall apart. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right on top. I just really want that like wet look. Okay, it does give you a little bit more wetter look. Um, I'm not sure what's the best way for you to apply this. Maybe just your finger. But you do have to try to kind of like blend it because sometimes it does move your eyeshadow. Like right now I'm seeing that it's kind of like moving my uh, reflector a little bit. Like might make it look a little bit more patchy. So I might be really afraid to put this on top of my makeup because I'm afraid it's going to be moving my makeup so I don't really trusting the face gloss to be on top of like 
finishing powder makeup i would use it on top of like if you have no makeup makeup or you don't wear any makeup you just want a little bit more face gloss onto your skin this might work for that so overall does this worth like 22 dollar or 24 dollar for the uh master reflector right in here for me 24 dollars i don't know like i feel like i don't love it as much as i thought it would be i might love the quad and the bronze it color just to have but i feel like i would live i can still live if i don't get it um like you can still use the same effect if you use more like a highlighter with this one like it's great but you can still use the like highlighter to do the almost the same effect with the face gloss definitely gonna be like a no for me because it's not really you can't really use this day every single day if you can happen to like wear makeup and you want your makeup to last longer throughout the day if you're more like an artist and you want to use this in like a photo shoot or a music video definitely this would be great but overall the face gloss secret glow would be a no for me for now until i have to try all of this on the next video but with the flector is a maybe if you like it but for me i might not get this again just because i don't feel like i'm going to use this a lot as often i feel like i like it that like when i first watched the video and the review i was like ooh, that's really look amazing but then after trying it and feeling it like the formulation is amazing but i don't feel like i'm going to use this as often as i want to spend 24 dollars especially during this pandemic time so yeah so it just depends on what you are interested in okay so beside all the eyeshadow palette all the primer all the glitter he actually have two different eyeliner right in here so there is a dark one and there's actually a black one right in here and what's special about this one is one side gonna be the actual liner eyeliner itself and the other side gonna be a little brush so that's gonna be the black one Ooh. so first off the formulation is really smooth feel a little bit more like gel like and it's super like gliding it's actually kind of like shocking hydrating it's not going to be more like a majority of eyeliner is going to be a little bit more dry but this one is really creamy so when you take out the lid i actually kind of like broke the head of it because it's a little bit more creamy but the formulation is really impressive so you're just going to use this and kind of like used it to kind of blending out if you want to be have a little bit more like smoky eye and you're just going to use that as like a brush itself so first thought i thought this could this end of the brush is going to be a little bit more like plastic and synthetic and cheap it actually is not it's more like a really fiber light it's kind of like actual brush hair light it's not going to be one of those like plastic brush because you know how some with the eyeliner have the other tail but then it's going to be a little bit more like plasticky and really cheap and you can't really use it because it's kind of like scrubbing on your eye and it's going to be, be really hard this one is actually really like soft i'm really impressed with how well these like tail and brush is it's really like nice and soft it's actually kind of like it's actual brush itself it's not going to be a cheap synthetic so i'm really impressed with that one and this eyeliner is going to be 22 dollars and here actually the color for the brown one the formulation is really great i kind of love the brown one the formulation is amazing the color is also really great the black i say it's not going to be like the darkest black it's have this slightly darker blue tone and tint to it once you're blending that blending it out it does show a little bit more blue once you're blending them out so it's not going to be exact like true black it's more like a dark jean light blue but the brown color is really amazing I'm really impressed with the brown one it's really nice brown and beside those one they actually he actually create another one that's master matte brightening pencil what the master matte brightening eye pencil is you kind of like the 90s supermodel look when they kind of like pulling white eyeliner right into your waterline to make your eye look a little bit more bigger so this color actually kind of like the same color as your skin tone so you're going to use that right in there right into your waterline and since it's going to be closer to your uh, skin tone it's going to kind of like brighten up and kind of like opening up your eye a little bit more a lot of people using more like a white eyeliner and that's with definitely noticeable 
because sometimes your eye is not like that white and when you put like a super white eyeliner right in there it's really like noticeable so i love how this one is more like a skin tone so the master matte brightening pencil gonna be 20 dollars and beside those one they actually a liquid eyeliner right in here so this is the master matte liquid eyeliner super black so with the eyeliner it's only coming like one color so it's gonna be like a felt tip right in here and the color is definitely more like a black color it does i feel like it does have a slight deep blue tint to it it's really similar to like the eyeliner right in there it's not super super black to me so overall if you feel like you have the money to spend 22 dollars for like a single eyeliner I would say that it's really worth it because the formulation is really great it's really soft against your eye because your eye is super delicate and you want something a little bit more softer the color um i love the brown one because it's going to stay true brown the black one is going to be a little bit more bluish tint so it's not going to be like a true black the liquid eyeliner i feel it's like more black it's like more darker i'm not sure sure how much black it is it's like more like a bluish tint to it but yeah Okay, so lastly in the whole collection are brushes. So I'm just going to go through this really quick with the brush. So it does come in with five different brush right here. Actually five and a half because one of them is more like a dual ended brush right in here. So every single brush right in here costs $22 with the feel of the brush. It does feel really soft. It's really Sephora quality um, brushes. Actually really nice, really soft. I feel like $22 is really worth it with the brush, especially as Sephora. Majority Sephora brush is only going to be around $15, $22, $20 up to like $30, maybe $40 for a brush. So these are actually kind of affordable for each brushes. So far all the brushes feel super nice. It's, I have I don't have a lot to tell, talk about brushes. I do love brushes, but I can't tell until I go in and try them actually try them on with the eyeshadow palette but this brush is really soft and they all have like different density to them if you don't have like a brush set already um this would be like a great starter brush if you're looking for brushes and in, in each individual one is going to be 22 dollars including the double ended one would it be worth it to spend 22 dollars on them i feel like maybe yes because the few the quality of it quality of it is really nice it's super clean i'm not sure how much i like it that it's kind of like white because with makeup it's going to be like get dirty so quick and so easily like right now they look really like nice and clean because i haven't used them yet because but once you like kind of like throw around your makeup back it might get dirty quite a little bit more easy but the quality of the brush is really nice so that's going to be it for me with the quick review with the brushes so overall what I thought about the whole complete collection is I feel like complete the whole collection is really 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 well thought out down to like the every single detail of the formulation that's like the most important things is the formulation and everything he, th he thought out is really good the formulation is spectacular it's really amazing you really kind of like get what you pay for with the formulation right in here uh, I definitely gonna use this if you have like a makeup kit this would be like complete kit for every single thing and I can't wait for them to him to go out and produce more item towards the future like complexion concealer uh, maybe more eyeshadow palette or a little bit more like face powder complexion wise skincare so I can't wait for his future with the whole collection so I'm really proud with makeup made by Mario because every single item in the collection is like a hit after hit because majority of the collection that people just launched some of it you feel like it's really great and some of it is really missed but this whole collection as a why as like the whole um every single thing is perfectly crafted so overall the whole collection is amazing and i love it the one thing is i just hope in the future they just deliver the packaging a little bit more better because this is more like a $600 PR and maybe a little bit more wrapping I feel like uh, packaging is a little bit more afterthought for them to do so I just hope that in the future to do a little bit more better with the shipping wise but overall the whole package is beautiful and it's amazing super clean and super classic so I do love every single one of them and again I'm gonna go ahead and do another video to go 
in more detail into each individual palette to try and create a makeup look using all these items right in here. So overall, if you're loving the Makeup by Mario, if you get inspired by Makeup by Mario in general, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. Ring the bell button right here for next week. Next week in the vacation, I now start posting on Friday, so look up for that. And don't, definitely don't forget to follow me on all my social media at bella.c.snow. Okay, it's been a long day and I've been talking a lot, so I'm kind of like losing my voice. So yeah, so I guess I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.